welcome to the EC for you channel. If you question my intentions, I feel that you're second guessing. Trying to deny the fact that we really have a connection. Acting like I don't ever show you love and affection. And when you as you know in the title, so it's gonna be all about perfume. So during the lockdown, we weren't able to try on sniff any perfume. So I had to rely on um, descriptions from websites and also um, from reviews. So this is all the perfume I blind bought during the lockdown. So I'm gonna first buy Angel by Muggler. So it's a lovely, beautiful packaging. Woo! It's so beautiful. I must say, when I first sniffed this smell, it's very different. It's very strong and power. I smelled the sweetness, but it was a different sweetness. It took a while for me to get used to this scent. So what I did was spray it on my cover. And then as time proceeded, I started to enjoy the scent more. So that's why I was not, that's why I did not return it. Because I saw in the review, they say you're either going to love it or hate it. But it turns out I was, a, I was like on the fence about it. Then I ended up loving it. And this is a beast mode. I cannot wait to wear this. This I would wear for more of a winter. It's just because it's so strong and powerful. Like it when people smell it it'd be like okay she's here mm, i'm matching it on a nice okay because my last video i wasn't really good um because my nose is still um i'm still trying to um what's the word getting used to smelling things and picking out different notes so right now my nose is not trained so i'm gonna tell you what who I describe wearing it or how I describe wearing it or picture of who I would feel the smell will smell like if that makes any sense so this one is like out on a night fancy out night like beautiful fancy out night or anytime you want people to know smell you before you go and leave a trail angel is the one to go and I cannot wait to wear it so, the next one that I'm going to wear for today, Girls' Night Out, um, it's Flower Bomb by Victor Roth. So, it looks like a grenade. I know you've seen all this before, so it's nothing new. I jumped on the bang wagon a little bit late just because the name, Flower Bomb, I thought it would be just floral. But this has sweetness to it. So, I picture it being pinky, girly, um date night or girls girls night out i would wear this it's very sweet and i'm a very sweet loving girl and i love the scent sweet so this mm, this smells so sweet i love this it's not like sickening sweet but it is sweet okie dokes next one it is Everybody talked about this. So C by Giorgio Armani. So it looks like this. When I first sent it, I don't like how it's flowery. It's too flowery to, for me. But what made me keep it is because it has a sweetness scent afterwards. This is like a clean, sweet, flowery scent. So I pictured this like... Um, like a boss girl, like a boss power girl, you know? Like, this scent is like, it grew on me. Would I repurchase it? I don't know, I wanna wear it out because all I did was sniff it while I was in the house. I didn't really get to experience wearing it, but I know a lot of people love this perfume see I would I would love 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 it if it was a little bit more sweetness than flora so where do I see myself wearing this so like a boss type of girl I want everybody to know I'm a boss then I would wear this this is so lovely but flower bomb is the bomb though <laughs> so the next one is If you've seen my last video, you're going to see I love powdery scent as well as sweet scent. 
Nar so the next one is Nar Narciso Poudre. So this is kind of like sweet, vintage, powdery smell. Like I've never smelled a perfume like that before because normally when I go for powdery, I like clean baby powdery smell. This one smells like a, you know, the old school compact kind of smell. Like it smells vintage. I, this would probably look so cute. Like I picture wearing this with this look too, like a picnic or even on a wedding day for it to not be too strong, you know, for you to be intimate. Like it's more of an intimate perfume. I don't believe, I don't think based on my assumption and the reviews, reading the reviews and watching videos that I've seen I don't think this leaves a silly -ish. I think it's just more intimate if someone comes to hug you and that's why I feel it'll be perfect for wedding day everyday scent or even in the office it just has this nice vintagey smell to it I've never smelled a powdery perfume quite like that and I love the sweetness to it yeah and the packaging is nice cute and simple so the next one is I caved in. I have YSL Libre in Eau de Parfum. So I wanted the intense one. So this is the intense one, and I'm gonna show you the Eau de Parfum, which was not that abused. I used a little bit of it during my trip when I went to Texas. That's the only perfume I bought. And I couldn't put my fingers on what was the scent and someone left in the comment it was lavender and now when I smell it I smell the lavendery this is like a boss perfume as well too like I own my own business kind of perfume let me see the to me there's not that big of a difference with the intense and eau de parfum I feel like the Eau de Parfum is a little bit more spicy than this one. Keep in mind, my nose is not trained. Maybe one day. But yeah, but that's how I smell. Yeah, I feel a lot spiciness in Eau de Parfum than in Lee. But they do have very, very similarity. So this one lasts a long time. I like to spray on my clothes as well as on the body, but mostly on my clothes because I love how the perfume stays on the clothes and this lasts for a long time but my YSL beats that so I wanted something a little bit stronger so that's why I cannot wait to try Intense Intense it's like dark um, not dark but I picture me wearing like a black dress going somewhere fancy did I say that for um, Angel? yeah Angel too but this one for if I want a little bit of spiciness, spice things up, like, you know, um, you're on a date with your husband or with your significant other. Not like you guys just started dating, but, you know, celebrating anniversary or something like that. That's what I picture. Lieb and tense. And last but not least, which I really, really love this one. People say you have to smell it. There's a lot of people that don't like it, but I actually like it. Chanel number no. five. This is the Eau de Parfum. This smells fresh, like you showered, fresh, showery, soapy, powdery. This smells so, so, mm, this smells so fresh. Okay. Hold up, hold up, because I know a lot of people say it smells old lady-ish. I have a theory, maybe on to why. Maybe because when, um, because Chanel has been around for a long time, number five. So my theory is maybe that they associate that smell with somebody that was in the older generation. So every time they sniff it, they smell them. Me, I never smelled a scent like that. Like, I, it's like all new to me, you know? It was like a first scent, first smell type of thing. 
and for me because i don't associate myself with anybody to me it smells so good it doesn't smell old lady to me it smells like soapy clean fresh like oh yum like i picture this um like a chill day wearing this chill day groceries going out just like a chill type of day and anytime you want to feel fresh like you just came out of the shower even to work i would wreck i picture if i worked at an office i don't think the scent is okay actually i just remember in the review they said the scent is the scent is obnoxious and it lasts for a very long time it has really strong power it has strong staying power so me i just sniffed it in the bottle and on my sheets oh my goodness it smells lovely it smells clean it smells fresh powdery mm, i love this scent but yeah or maybe because i love older powdery scent because as you know in my last video perfume i love navy and apparently navy been around for a long time i think it's owned by covergirl now but yeah but it's been around for a long time and i really love that scent and it kind of like has that powdery a little bit of a freshness but it's not as soapy as chanel number no. five so yeah so my recommendation if you I know it's hard, but try to dissociate yourself with someone smelling like that. Maybe you might be able to enjoy it because I really love it. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this is it for this video. I hope you like and enjoy. If you have any perfume suggestion, leave it down in the comments below. Now things are open. I could actually sniff it. And also, I ended up loving all of them. So I didn't have to return it. So I'm pretty good at blind shopping online. Especially when it comes to perfume. Because everybody's scent is different. So yeah. So I will see you guys later. Because if I got you and you got me. Then life would be easy for you. Bye guys. Trouble I offer you my protection. I swear. It's like you're not playing fair. It's like you'd rather have a nigga that isn't there. You want a baby daddy, not a father that cares. Some thoughts that cross my mind, but I don't actually share. Can you deny that I'm honest and that?